Hello, this is Decimal, and today I want to talk about Relic. It's a brand new sequencer and controller that can connect to a whole bunch of stuff. So it basically comes in two parts. You have the physical controller itself, and then a matrix patch analog signal mixer. You can route and mix 16 by 16 analog signals. There's the ability to sequence analog signals routing in musical time. It has 16 tracks with 32 CVs and three MIDI outs plus USB. And you could also use this to control your DAW and software instruments. So this is what the unit looks like. It has a very large grid and also you can see on the screen there is the ability to patch and route things on it as well. And you also have numbers on the side, one to 16. And then you also have um, encoders on the top along with other uh, buttons. So the idea with this is that you are able to route, mix, store, and sequence Eurorack and signal patches on the fly. So this is definitely leaning towards the Eurorack crowd. However, I could definitely see this being useful in a studio setup that is focused on DAW-less synthesizers, drum machines, and other devices. It has the ability to store and recall signal routing. So this can happen in real time without any sound interruptions, which is kind of hard to believe, but also amazing if it can actually do that. It can also sequence stuff in a musical tempo which is also pretty cool as well. You can have it as your like master clock, I guess. So it has a 16 polyphonic sequencer, Euclidean mode, polyrhythms and polymeters, stochastic modes, not exactly sure what that means. Um, eight voice polyphonic per track, which is crazy awesome, especially because it has 16 tracks. High resolution recording, MPE compatible real time parameter recording, Melody pattern generation, which is something that I'm very interested in. LFO envelope per track, real time MIDI effects, and 128 patterns per track. Essentially, you can automate things using the grid. They're saying this is a modulation factory. So you can draw your modulations, automations, LFO, and envelopes at your fingertips. So when it comes to inputs and outputs, we are talking three MIDI outs, one MIDI in, one USB-C MIDI, one USB host port, 16 gates, five to 10 volts, 32 CV outs, one reset out, and one clock out. Now, another very interesting feature is the breakout box, which gives you 32 CV out, 16 gates, 16 by 16 matrix, in and out in its own case, which is powered by the Relic, the main unit via USB-C or your rack power supply. Is it wireless? I think it is because it says that you can put it in any part of your studio and it only needs to be powered. And if you're powering it by your rack, how does it go to the main unit? I understand that when it's USB-C, it can connect to the relics, the main unit. So that's how it can stay connected. But this is crazy. Like, is there any latency or is this not the case? Does it have to be connected? Who knows? I'm a little skeptical about everything that they are promising with this unit. However, there is a gap in the market. There really isn't anything like this. I haven't been this excited for something in a very long time, as long as it can deliver what they are promising. All right, so let's look at the cost um, and we can also look at an exclusive discount by signing up right now. So if you were to order it right now, you can save 35%. So it's going to be launched at $16.99. So let's say $1,700. And with a $1 deposit, you can save 35%, which will bring the unit down to 1099 or 1100 once they ship. So this unit is really not that expensive if it can deliver everything it's talking about, especially because it comes with both the main unit itself and the matrix patch bay. They're not selling these separately, they come bundled together. What do you guys think about the relic? Do you think it's a little bit over promising under delivering situation? Or do you think it's a company that saw a gap in the market and it's going to completely blast and give us a product that is super amazing? My questions are, 
is it going to be able to do generative stuff? Because if it is, this will make this probably the most interesting thing that I've seen in a very, very, very long time. What do you guys think about this unit and the price? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. I also want to mention I will be going to Superbooth this year and I really hope I'll be seeing this unit and I can report on what it's all about. So subscribe if you want to see some awesome stuff from Superbooth and thanks for watching.